everybody, I'm Emily and welcome to the latest episode of my Overly Organized series. So today I am sharing five different creative organizing solutions that I have in place in my vanity, in my bathroom area that help me bring order and functionality to the space and also help me streamline my morning routine. If you're new here, welcome to Strategically Helpful where I share information, insights, and ideas about the things that I'm passionate about, creativity, organization, and self-care. I'm gonna move quickly so this video doesn't get too long. So if you want me to do a deeper dive on any of these creative solutions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to talk about them in depth. But with that, let's get to today's solution. So here is the full overview of my vanity space. And I'm gonna do a quick little dive into each one of these little zones. So starting over here on my windowsill, these are repurposed candle jars that I have turned into little toolkits, so to speak, where I keep my skincare devices and the associated creams or conductivity gels that I use with each device. And I keep them all together in this little handy repurposed candle jar so that when I'm ready to do the treatment, I can just grab this and kind of take it to go. And I can do the treatment wherever I am. This is for my microcurrent device. So I've got the actual device right here. I've got the two different conductivity gels and it all fits nicely right into this little jar. And I'm able to take this with me so that I maintain the consistency in using my devices. So next up, I have my hairbrush organizer. So this comes in really handy when I'm doing my hair in the morning, because I can grab whichever specific brush I need in order to expedite the process. And then when I'm done, I can just pop it right back in, put it away. All of this is, is a cardboard box that I wrapped in fabric and a little bit of padding to give it a little bit of a padded look and then inside all I have are just dark glass beads and they hold up all of my brushes relatively well and it just makes for a really functional way to store all my brushes. I actually got this inspiration from a past job that I had when I worked at a beauty and hair salon. So next are these vanity trays. And what I like about both of these trays is I can have all of the products within reach, the ones that I wanna be using the most often, but the tray gives the overall appearance just a little bit more order. It keeps things tidy. And it also keeps me kind of in check that I don't get too kind of excessive with my products. I only use as much as can fit in the tray. And if I start running out of room, I start editing and trying to figure out what's in the tray. So I like the aesthetic of just kind of keeping things orderly, but still out and in your face. So I remember everything that I have. And then over here, I just have my sunscreens and my body lotions. So it's nice again, because it keeps all of those bottles kind of tidy and collected and orderly. And I just think it gives it a cleaner look. So next up is this little vertical storage situation I've got going over here. So this is another example of a repurposed candle where I store my Q-tips or I store all of my cream eyeshadows and different tools and eyebrow um, tweezers and whatnot that I find it handy to have all that stuff in there. So it's always easy to grab, easy to refill. And then these are very similar to the hair brush organizer, but this is actually a vase that I got from Michael's and I filled it with these like beads, bean bag beads, I think they are. And in the same vein as the organizer for my hair products, I like the functionality here. It's the same kind of functionality that I have in the hair brushes in that I'm able to see all the different brushes that I have. By having them front and center one, I'm able to find them and reach for them when I need them. But also it reminds me of all the brushes I need. And so when I'm shopping at Sephora or Ulta and they have a new makeup brush release, I'm less inclined to want 
want another new one because I remember, oh no, I've got four of these powder brushes or I've got three of these blush brushes or I've got the paddle brush or basically it just reminds me the sheer variety in makeup brushes that I already own. In the center here, this is a setup that I've had since college. So first I have a tiny tray at the top that kind of keeps all of my different beauty blenders and my cream blushes kind of orderly. And then behind that, I have my different foundations and kind of cover-ups. Yet again, another little miniature candle that I use to just corral all of my lip glosses so they don't roll around and get lost. This is where all my makeup lives. Now, I don't consider myself a big makeup file. I kind of have one look that I have worn for about 25 years. So I've kind of dialed in my needs. But these little drawers are the perfect size to kind of create categories within my makeup. Here's just a hodgepodge of different mascaras that I've either purchased or am sampling or maybe received as a free gift in some, you know, free gift with purchase. The next drawer down is my eye pencils. So I have my eye pencils, I have my sharpeners, all the different varieties. So when I'm ready to apply my eyeliner, I have all my options right available. And in the bottom drawer here, I have all of my different lip glosses. So I have been a fan of this product, the C.O. Bigelow Menthol Lip Tint. Um, this has been my favorite lip gloss for better part of two decades. I get it at Bath & Body Works. And what I like about it is it gives me a little bit of fresh breath and a little bit of sheen. So it's definitely a win-win. So on the left here, this is kind of my miscellaneous stuff. I've got some highlighters in here. I've got my eyebrow and my under eye kind of brightener and just like a little bit of blushes. Then in this one, I have my two eyeshadow palettes. And then lastly, the bottom drawer is just my overflow. So I've got a new eyeliner pencil ready for when that one expires. And then I even have more of my lip gloss and whatnot in there. So this has been a really functional system for me and my makeup. So the last creative organizing solution I have to share is this little hack that I have been practicing for some time. So for those of you who are younger than a Gen Xer, you probably won't recognize this, but this is actually the old school paper clip dispensers that we used to have back in the days before computers. And so I have actually repurposed it so that I hold my bobby pins in it. So then you just lift up the bobby pins you need, the magnetic ring in there keeps them orderly and tidy. So if you have a old school paper clip organizer, definitely an opportunity to repurpose it, or this is an idea if you happen to come across a new one. And then if you're like me, I always struggle to find things to store in these tiny jewel organizers because I just felt like everything at my office desk was either larger than these entirely or I had supply that was larger than this container. So slowly but surely I started moving these little tiny organizers into my desk drawer and so one by one I just started creating little tiny zones of all the different hair accessories and hair ties and hair clips and hair breaths and just all the various different things and I don't have a lot of skills when it comes to hairstyling, but I find a lot of value in this because each one of these little containers is just big enough to hold all the individual little tools for everything or anything that I ever need. All right, so there you have it. That is the five creative organizing solutions I have to share today. I hope that by sharing the creative organizing solutions that work for me, that maybe you can get ideas or inspiration in ways you can apply these same organizing solutions for something in your space for your needs. The playlist to all of the other creative organizing solutions that I have shared are linked in the card at the end of this video. So definitely check that out if you want even more creative organizing solutions. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on my thumbnail. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and letting me know if there's anything you saw that you might actually want to replicate or got inspired to do something similar in your space. I hope I'll see you in my next video and until then, have a good one.